Um, my name is uh, is Rand, and this is the first event. It's co-sponsored by the SS Institute, the Stanley Film Center, both nonprofits devoted to uh, the art of storytelling and promoting the sharing of story here in Estes Valley. We're super excited about those two organizations that are just getting off to a start. We have uh, I have good news and I have bad news to share. So I'll start with bad news. The bad news is that yesterday, Bobby called me and said, guess what, uh, Ryan can't make it. Ryan Kara Armstrong. So she's the co-star of the movie. She was gonna come and uh, she was filming a movie and it, uh, it went over on her, their time and she had to stay and film through today and tomorrow so she can't make it. Now, what she did say, she still want, really wanted to be here. She wanted to see you guys, she wanted to answer questions. So after the movie tonight, she's agreed she's gonna zoom in. So she'll be on the screen. Ryan's gonna zoom in and she'll answer your questions and we get to get to know her a little bit and ask her questions about the film. So that's the good news, which I'm super excited about. In front of me here we've got, or behind me we got uh, the two producers. We got Bobby Paschel and Flash Eulin. Thank you guys for being here. We have uh, Nick Thomas, who's a, uh, a local guy is also an actor and a producer and happens to be uh, the new president of the Estes Institute Board. So thank you, Nick, for doing that work. And Nick is gonna uh, moderate the panel. We're gonna not start with a Q&A, but Nick does have a question for these guys before we start, and then we'll bring these guys back at the end of the movie. So go ahead, Nick. Yeah, we're basically gonna keep it simple right now so we can get going and be on time for when Ryan's available, but do you guys have something you want to share with all of us before we see our, your film? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, this movie was shot in Montana. Um, we, uh, the locations that you're seeing are in the middle of nowhere. So, um, I'm sure you guys understand driving out in the middle of nowhere. So, a lot of our uh, travel times to set was an hour, two hour, three hour travel there and travel back. Um, I can't really say much more than that without giving a bunch away. We did see bears. <laughs> we, we had a bear hunter that had a two legged dog because he smelled like really delicious food. <laughs> so we always had to watch out for that. Yeah, the yeah. Wild. Uh, but uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. it. It was a very hard film to make. Um, we've been known to make some pretty hard films, and this is one of the hardest ones to make, just because of the locations and the logistics and the uh, infrastructure that there that existed or didn't exist where we were shooting. So um, it, it was my uh, second western, but I guess a lot of it is around you know horses capturing the period piece, getting rid of modern items, but. When you do land in Montana, it does look like a John Wayne movie. So it, it made for more simplicity than my last one, which was in Alabama. That just <laughs> was, was a lot harder than Montana in terms of background and scenery. They had to erase a lot of 7 Elevens in that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, Rand's already seen this. I think a few people have already streamed it. They were super excited, but. Um, I, I wanted to wait for the night and watch it for the first time, so I'm super excited. Sasha, uh, Bobby, <laughs> Bobby, Sasha and Bobby, thank you guys for being thank here. Thank you. Um, and for they're going to join us after, so please stick around for the Q and A in an hour and forty minutes from now with Ryan as well. Thank you. Thank you.